Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Card Fight Vanguard monthly promo pack opening. These are the promo packs that shops will be receiving for the months of December 2024 and January 2025. We've got some pretty awesome promos in the set. I believe there is a new Direful Doll promo. The, the promos to finish off the uh, start decks for Stoikea, Dark States, and Brantgate, I believe. And then a couple other promos. Also, I believe there's a Pacifica one and some other reprints as well. So excited to open them up and see what we get. So let's go ahead and get started. We have the packs to open here. Hopefully we can get a good variety of different ones. All right, our first one is actually the foil one. It is Direful Doll, Tarquinia. When this card is placed on rearguard, if you have a Vanguard with Direful Doll on its card name, Karen Blast 1, look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose up to one normal unit with Direful Doll on its card name from among them. Reveal it, put it in your hand, shuffle your deck. So it's search power for the Direful Doll. That's very, very good. Being able to just add a card with the majority of your deck being Direful Doll will definitely, I say, make this a four of in the deck. And on rearguard, when this unit attacks, if you have a great three guard Vanguard with Direful Doll on its card name, you may have this unit get plus 10 to end of battle. If you do at the end of that battle, bind this unit. So just bind power after that setting up your bind zone for you to use for some of your other direful doll cards also that's our foil watch this be the common version right afterwards nope this is actually i believe the pacifica unit wrap up well confrona when placed on rear guard energy blast three look at the top seven cards of your deck choose up to one grade three card with pacifica and its card name from among them reveal it put it in your hand and shuffle the deck so search power for pacifica as well being a backup grade three when it attacks you can put a grade three with pacifica and its card name from your drop at the bottom of the deck and this unit gets plus 10 till the end of that battle so just recycle power as well you have the eternal idol pacifica or and i believe the planet idol and the top idol pacifica for d4 Format. So this card is just good for the recycle power and making use of the energy blast in the Pacifica deck also. Oh, looks like that one's stuck. I'm going to be as careful as I can with it. Here is one of the reprinted promos. We have Wishing Your Happiness. This is the Lutetia promo. I feel like it has been a promo two times now, reprinted. So it's been one initially, had another pack where it was a promo, and then once again, another promo option. So this is, I think, its second time. I may be wrong. I definitely do know it's been a promo beforehand, though, also. So none of the start deck ones yet. Hopefully we can see one of them soon. Let's see. Next pack. We have Stealth Dragon, Dojun. When it's placed on rear guard, if you have a Vanguard with Shoji Doji in its card name, choose a card with Stealth in its card name from your soul, and you may bind it. And when it's put from rear into soul during the battle phase, Energy Blast 2, choose a face-up card from your opponent's bind zone, put it into the draw. I don't know if this is an alt art for a pre-existing card or not. I'm not too, too familiar with Shoji Doji, so I might have to uh, double-check on that, but it might be one of the better cards for sure if it is a new card for Shoji Doji. All right, next pack. And we have Effervescent Shadow Dreamblade. This is a, another reprint for the pack. I don't know why they reprinted this if there was an errata to the card itself. It can become, it can, you know, be available in foil as well. I just don't know why we have a reprint of this card when it was just released in set one for its printing also. Not too sure about that. Next pack carefully next pack and we have the direful doll card again so you can see the only difference between the two is it doesn't have the flavor text and the one is a foil version but another direful doll tarquinia for that pull last two packs for these eight and we have Knight of Heavenly Piercing, Assalta. This is another reprint. Do we get all of the reprints? It feels like we got three of the reprints. I believe that might be all of them. How many cards in total are in this set? One of 18, so that means there's nine different cards to pull. But this is another reprinted card. I believe it was originally from set three. Uh, when placed on rear guard or discard from hand during your turn, choose one of your back row rear guards and stand it. So just stand power, I guess. It was a very early released promo. But... And it wasn't even a promo. I think it was either a common or a rare from set three. I question some of the cards they choose for these packs. I really do. But our last one, we did get one of the uh, ride or the start deck cards. And it is Happiness Noble Ferroid. This is the one for Christianos from the drop when your grade three or greater Vanguard with Christianos and its card name is placed during your ride phase. If you do not have a rear guard with the same card as this, Soul Blast one, call this card to rear. And if you call the card, 
energy charge one, setting up more energy for the deck that definitely does use a lot of energy. And on rear guard at the end of the battle, he boosted a grade three unit with Severine. It's card name, choose any number of cards from your drop with different grades other than heal or over trigger. If you chose three or more cards, return to the deck, shuffle it, and at the end of the turn, put this card into the soul, giving you more soul power, but also recycling some cards for you to go back into your drop zone from the drop to the deck because Christianos is definitely known for using cards to set up in the drop zone also. All right, we got one more wave of promo packs to open. So let's see what else we could potentially pull. All right, we're not starting off strong because we have another Assalta, which is one of the reprinted set. It's either set three or set four promos there. Next, we have our foil, which is Wrap Up Well Confrona for the Pacifica deck. So compared side to side. They don't want to do any zoom in or anything like that. They just have the missing flavor text and the fact that the card is foil for it. Let's see if we can pull some of the other newer cards we haven't pulled yet. And as I say that, we pull another reprint, Effervescent Shadow Dream Blade for Lascaria. And a Wishing You're Happy. Okay, so we have pulled majority of reprinted cards so far. So let's hope there are some new ones. And also when I say new ones, new ones we haven't seen yet in these last couple packs. As I say that, we pull another Stealth Dragon Dojun. I do not recognize the card's art. I have to double check and see if this is a brand new card or not. But we have three packs remaining, so still a chance to pull something new. And as I say that, we pull Wrap Up Well Confrona for the Pacifica deck. Let's get the cards for the last two packs. Let's make it happen. Let's see. All right, cool. We got one. Haughty Peerage. From the drop, when you're grade 3 or grade Vanguard with Oselagist and its card name is placed during your ride phase, if you do not have a rear guard the same card as this one, you soul boss one, call this card to rear. And if you call it a card, energy charge one. I believe the grade ones all have that same ability, being able to call this card. So it's kind of like a discard cost usage card, setting it up in the drop zone. And then at the end of the battle, this unit boosted a unit with Tilagon, which is the back of grade 3 for Oselagist as well. Put two rear guards in the same column as this unit into the soul. Draw a card and choose a card from your drop and put it into your soul. So setting up more cards in your soul, especially if you have other Acelagist in the drop to be able to use to then have for the Soul Blast for Tilagon also. Can we pull the Brontgate one from this pack? Let's see. Final pack. And up, oh, we actually did pull it. Uh, Vivacious Girl. From the drop, having the same ability, being able to call this card with a Soul Blast one and then energy the charge one. And at the end of the battle, you boosted a unit with Swing B, which is the back of grade three for the Asterm deck. Put this unit in the soul. Choose up to one armor supply vehicle, Preciosa, from your hand or drop. Put it into the order zone. Choose one of your units and it gets plus two for each card set. So it's a, kind of a different setup still because Asterm's focus are the armor supply vehicles, but still very, very awesome. Awesome that we got at least one, I believe, of every promo from this booster pack. But I hope you all enjoyed. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.